first of all, this is not a rumor, but it does affect the rumors about the iPhone 8. Apple, apparently, some sharp-eyed person noticed on page four of the website at the Wireless Power Consortium that Apple was suddenly a member. Uh, not last week, but this week. Now, that's the Qi charging standard. A lot of phones use Qi, QI. A lot of Qi pads out there. There's another one. There's the Power Pad, I think, or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but uh, but this is runs counter to what we people have been speculating, which, frankly, I didn't credit much, that Apple was going to do some sort of charging where at distance where you could just... You know, I hate to be that guy, Leo, but Apple... Did inductive charging on the Apple Watch two years ago. So this, this is like even if there was no future charging, wireless charging, um, they're doing iPhone, it already. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is just this. This has both nothing and everything to do with another, right. with another iPhone. It could just be the it could be the watch. By the way, they never said the watch is chi, but I think it's it's like kind of chi. It's quasi chi compatible. <laughs> if you have a chi charger and you can put the right sort of magnet with it, it will start to charge. And I have charged chi stuff with my Apple Puck. Yes. So I guess it's chi ish. Yes. Funny, I mean, it uses the funny same you don't standard, look cheeish. Yeah. No. We had fun with that because we had a bunch of Android Wear watches uh, with Trinity Caldwell and Derek Kessler in a room, and we were going through all the different adapters trying to see what would charge what. And you could charge any of them off the Apple one, but if you didn't have a magnet, the Apple watch would not charge any of the Qi chargers. Ah, the magnet's critical. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that makes it uh, non-conformant, uh, but uh, I think I like a magnet on a Qi charger because it's... It sucks whatever it is, the phone or whatever, into position. That's the big problem with Qi. And one of the reasons I think people are speculating Apple might do wireless at distance is because it's, it, it, the accuracy. We talked about this last week is hard yeah. to get that. It's that right Phil there. Schiller statement where he goes back to like, Apple, like Phil Schiller's long said that he doesn't think that uh, wireless charging was a mature technology. And then when they asked him why Apple Watch, he said, well, because we just think that it's more convenient for you to come down, put down your watch, not fuss with cables. And that's easily extended to, we think it's more convenient for you not to must fuss with cables or pads. If you put it within whatever it is, three, six, eight, ten inches, you don't have to be pretty close. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So I don't know if you credit this. There's a, a study by a company called IHS Technology. They did a consumer survey that, and that showed that 90% of consumers want wireless charging on their next phone. Is that Does that sound credible? No, I mean, so it's so funny because Daniel Bader, who writes for Android Central, did an article about, uh, you know, wh where has all the wireless charging gone in Android? It was so popular. Palm Pre came out, and Palm Pre, I think, really jump-started the inductive charging. And then Samsung made a very Palm Pre-like uh, Galaxy Google S. Google doesn't do it now. It. Yeah. yeah, they stopped doing it. And aside from Samsung, not a lot of people are pushing it. And it really, I mean, it hasn't changed much. And I think uh, Qualcomm's <clears throat> high-speed charging sort of took the edge off of it because you can charge so fast off a cable now. That it, it was really more of a convenience. Than I would, sort of I would like to see that in the iPhone 8. They're wary of the battery implications still. It, it stresses the battery, doesn't it? Yeah. So they do, like if you put an iPad charger, it'll charge faster. But I think they're still conservative when it comes to yeah. how hard they hit the battery. In general, you, th you throw more amperage at the device, yeah. it will charge faster. <laughs> More so wattage, like really, but the but since the you know on USB the uh, the volts are stuck at five. If you say Shazam, right? It will charge instantly. Shazam. <laughs> yeah, uh, all right. Well, that's so. So, I I, you, I take your point. It doesn't really mean anything that Apple joined the cheek no. consortium. No, usually the Apple has a love-hate relationship with these standards bodies because as much as they get compatibility from joining them, they, I think they often feel that they're restrictive and slow-moving and doesn't let them adapt and change and test and try and experiment, which is what we've seen them do in other, everything from the World Wide Web Consortium uh, to uh, the USB when it came to making lightning and, and things like that. So I think they'll do what they want to do, and then when it suits their motivations or purposes, they'll also join the associations or standards committees.